My name is Danny Ceccarelli and I'm a marine biologist and a yoga teacher and I live on Magnetic Island. I'm half Swiss and half Italian and I was actually born in the USA. We left there when I was four months old. Then we lived in Italy. I lived in Italy till I was eight and then my father got a job in Syria and we lived in Aleppo in Syria for six years. In Aleppo, we went to this little international school where at that time, when I was 10, 11, there were only about 80 kids in the whole school. So every Thursday afternoon, the school principal would gather the whole school and show us David Attenborough's first series, the Life on Earth series. And um, I remember getting to the episode where it was underwater and there were scuba divers doing research and I was like, that's what I want to do. Anyway, so I did my high school in Switzerland and I had this opportunity to come for a holiday to Australia to visit some family friends. And their son was a marine biologist who convinced me to come to Townsville and just check out the university. When I arrived in Townsville, I took a trip to the island. I stepped off the boat onto the jetty and I thought I'd come to another country. It was a calm day, so the waters under the jetty were clear. I could see coral, I could see a turtle, and I was completely mesmerized and fascinated and, um, and I knew I'd come to the right place. When I'm working underwater, there's this sort of moving in and out of really intense focus and just a sense of curiosity and wonder. I'm incredibly privileged because it's very rare, really, in, in terms of the whole human community on Earth, to get to experience that world and to be briefly part of it. As a yoga teacher and a scientist, um, people often think that they're two opposing things because, you know, yoga is very, is seen as something very esoteric and maybe not really explainable. And science is seen as this very uh, regimented form of inquiry and of research and, and very logical and very structured. But I think that there's these incredible parallels between yoga and science. Um, and for me, being a marine scientist, and the first and most obvious thing that comes to mind is the breath. So in yoga, we work very much with controlling the breath or freeing the breath. And underwater, your breathing is the loudest thing that is constantly there in your ears. And so you're very aware of your breath all the time. When we're practicing yoga, the key goal is actually to pay attention to what we're doing. So to pay attention and bring the mind into the here and now. And when you're doing research underwater, that quality of attention is crucial. There's one more thing that, that um, I always think about when I think about yoga and science. And um, one of my favorite yoga teachers um, once said, a yogi is someone who leaves the place better than they found it. And to me, collecting information about coral reefs and how they're changing and passing it on to people who can do something about it is kind of my way of, in my work, trying to leave the place better than I found it. <laughs>